Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10-minute routine for chakra tapping. If you're not familiar with chakras, chakras are energy centers along our spine. And each chakra has different colors, different characteristics, and different things that determine your health, whether you have too much energy in a chakra or too little energy or stagnant energy in your chakra. It's basically a way you can tell what is wrong with your body on an energetic level. So like all things that flow inside of our bodies, your chakras can also become stagnant and can have uh, old energy in there and not fresh energy that's flowing there. So for those cases, we will do the chakra tapping to revive and refresh the energies in all of our chakras. So first, the first chakra is located in the perineum, which is in between your sexual organ and your anus. So when you sit in half lotus posture like me, it's the point of your body where your body becomes, comes in contact with the ground. So I will explain each of the chakras as we go, but first, please get into a comfortable position, sitting straight like me in half lotus. Rest your hands on your knees, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Good. For first chakra tapping, you're actually going to sit with the bottoms of your feet together. And this might be a little challenging, but do your best, okay? So you're gonna try to lift your body up a little and down. Up and down. Up and down. Like this. Let's do this 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great. And now circle your body around that point, your perineum. Let's go five times this way. One, two, three, four, and five. The other way, you don't have to move far. Just feel that point you are rotating around. That's your perineum, first chakra. Two, three, four, and five. Great job. Now get back into your half lotus. And this time we will tap our second chakra two inches below your navel and two inches inside. Imagine that point, your second chakra, that's the powerhouse of your body. So roll your hands gently into a fist and with the pinky side, tap two inches below your navel. And imagine you're not just tapping the surface, but tapping through your body. So you're activating your inside, your second chakra. So tap like this. We will tap 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now if you've got the hang of this posture, I encourage you to close your eyes, focus your mind on that point you are making contact with. And I'll count for you, just focus on your body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9.30 and stop. Great job. Now let's move up to the third chakra. It's called the solar plexus. It's right where your diaphragm is. So right where your liver and your stomach meet. It's this point right here. When you tap, you'll realize you have a lot of pain there. 
So when you tap, before you tap here, you want to make sure your spine is not curved. So you're not caving in this way. Push out from behind this point. So you open that area and tap here. Right away, you will feel a sensitive pain. Relax your shoulders, not like this. Relax, tap. So people who have a lot of digestive issues, anxiety, lack of self-confidence and willpower will feel some pain here. So push out, we will tap here 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you breathing out? Make sure you are exhaling as if you're releasing and decompressing your body with each tap. So now close your eyes to focus on your body better and just feel your body. I'll count for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Great job. Stop. If you're sensitive to energy, you will feel some tingling in your body right now. Okay, and let's move up to the fourth chakra, your heart, your chest. So your fourth chakra actually is right in the middle of your sternum, right here. So with your heart chakra, you know, if we have a lot of stress, a lot of emotional worries, problems in our relationship, it's very easy for this fourth chakra, your heart center to close. So if you see people who are a little caved in like this in their posture, it's because they're carrying a lot of weight in their heart. So you want to open your heart as wide as you can. And here, same thing with your fist, tap, or if that's feels a little awkward, you can use your fingertips too and drop your fingers here. But with your fourth chakra, as you tap, I want you to make gentle sound like this. Uh, you see how my jaws are relaxed? When you relax your jaw, you relax your brain. So not like, uh, like this, relax your jaw. <sighs> like this. 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 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 Twenty. Uh, When you have some more time, please focus on any of the chakras that need a little bit more help. I'll just guide you through overall sensation. So here you might also feel some tingling or some heaviness or blockage. You did great. Now let's move up to the sixth, fifth chakra. Fifth chakra is your chakra of expression, self-expression. So it's located right in between your collarbone. Here, use your fingers, tap gently. And here you want to lift your chin up a little just to make some room and relax your jaw. So don't clamp your jaw like this. Relax your jaw. And here too, let out gentle sighs, gentle noises to help draw out stuck energy in your throat. Ten, twenty more seconds. <sighs> twenty, ten more seconds. <sighs> Good. 
30. Great job. Now let's move up to the sixth chakra in between your eyebrows. This is your energy center of intuition, insight, and wisdom. Use your fingers. You can just use your fingers of one hand and tap here in between your eyebrows as if you're tapping through your skull and into your brain, into your pineal glands. So tap here, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close your eyes if you aren't closing them already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Great job. Now last one, seventh chakra, top of your head. This is your crown chakra that connects with heavenly energy. So it's that very highest point on your head where babies usually have, or all babies have their soft spot when they're born. Get both of your fingers, fingers from both hands and just drop your hands onto the top of your head. Keeping your wrists relaxed. 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close your eyes, feel your head, feel your scalp. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Last ten. Two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten great job relax your hands on your knees close your eyes for about five seconds and feel your body do you feel tingling from the top of your head down to your tailbone if not that much do you feel tingling at all and if so where do you feel your tingling Notice the changes in your body. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based yoga class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.